Hello YouTube, back again with another video. I'm going to be showcasing another duel. And although this may not seem like a challenging duel, you might as well watch and enjoy because I want to uh, be able to let you guys in on a deck that I'm playing, which happens to be Salomon Great. And my opponent happens to be playing a Dynamorphia deck at 49 cards and only 11 cards in their extra deck. So I pretty much turned the tables on my opponent throughout this duel, like anything he activates pretty much doesn't go through because I have the cards right here to counter them. And it may seem like I'm bluffing, but I'm being honest once you see the, the card choices and the cards that I use to counter my opponent against, you'll realize this duel goes uh, really well on my part. So. And it turns, it turns, my opponent has no way of turning the tides of this duel, and it's just that everything I do is pretty much, anything in this duel is pretty much in favor of me, a favor of me now. So, as he, as I activate Sign and Mining, he has a response to my card, and the, the, here is where I'm going to chain with Ash Blossom to negate the effect, since it applies to sending cards from his main deck. And he's thinking whether he has response. I was a bit nervous myself, but only to find out he still has to pay half his life points and he gets no fusion summon on the field. I'll link summon using the flame buffalo to my obviously link one bay links. I'll activate buffalo's effect and then chain with bay links. As you'll see here, what I'm about to do. And I'll send spinning to my grave to draw two cards and I'll activate sanctuary. And then I'll use Spinny's effect to go into my Link 2. As I'm going to summon Sunlight Wolf. I'll link summon, use, I'll, I can do an extra link with um, Sunlight Wolf. I mean more like relink summon. How you, however you guys prefer to address it. But you, you don't understand what I mean. So I go into another little wolf. And I'll shuffle thanks to Jack Jaguar. And special summon to Wolf's uh, Link rating. Wolf's effect will activate, allowing me to add Ash Retrieve Blossom from Ash Blossom from my grave. And when he decides to chain with Psalm Strike to destroy my Psalm Life, I banish Balix to, to negate his destruction. Like I said, this isn't going to be a really difficult duel for me, considering the amount of life points my opponent has been, play, has been paying. So at this point, this duel will probably be in my favor, as you see the difference of the amount of life points we have. He won't even be able to activate this tra trap card since he has to pay a thousand. So I'll set three just in case he has anything in store for me. And that's the risk with playing Dino Warfare. Personally, I'm not really a fan of Dino Warfare. You should know I really shouldn't judge a deck. But you have to pay so much life points or in order to get access to certain cards or in order to play at their full potential when if, if anything it's just withering your your, your life points down to, to close to 100 and then eventually if your opponent can deal you burn damage then it's pretty much over for you so it's so like you got to be careful what cards you activate so and i understand they do get the benefits when they have really low life points but it's like is it really worth the risk and yeah, he's going to be able to set a tra Dynamorphia Trap from his deck, but then I'll chain with Infinite Impermanence. And he, from the here on out, he admits defeat. Although this is a very, this isn't a very long duel, you guys, I know you were expecting more from this. But to be honest, like, Dynamorphia does not really seem like a challenge if you have the right cards. I could have it could have been just that I was lucky for all we know, and I just had the right cards to counter his uh like his like his his main uh, like pieces, whatever card he was trying to get access to. But it's like the hand jobs really did help in the situation. But I'm wondering, what if I didn't draw into them? Could he had could he had the upper hand, or could he still been putting himself uh, his life points at jeopardy? While I'll be having, while having, be having more advantage over him. But again, I also want opinions on the Dynamorphia archetype. Whether, whether why people even play this archetype, or they're just trying to test out this deck.
because overall it just seems like a disappointment. And I'm not bashing my opponent, I'm just saying the archetype in itself doesn't seem worth playing. So and it may not be the best duo, but again, hope you guys enjoyed it. But also be sure to check your notifications. Um, check for new upcoming videos later in the future. Be sure to check in uh, any updates uh, might might possibly happen because in a week or so I'm gonna eventually be uh, be getting my community tab, so I'll be giving you guys any. I'll be posting and giving updates to you guys like anything that's new or anything that might come as a surprise that I won't want to let you guys be aware of. But again, I also want to be sure to remind you to comment, like, subscribe, and thank you.